I'm at the Engineering Technology Group today. I've come to meet with Steve Brown, who's going to talk to me about the new Hardinge Bridgeport V1000. MTD CNC, bringing you the latest engineering news, reviews, events and special offers via video media. Steve, you've got the GX range. This is the Conquest V range. What's the difference? So this is the next step up from the GX range. So as we class our GX is our entry level, this is our mid-range product. So what makes it a mid-range product? Mid-range product being that it comes with um, 30 tools, so a, a quick arm, fast arm ATC, 12,000 RPM spindle with 20 bar 3 spindle coolant. So these features are now standard with the V machine? Yes, that's right. So where we took the GX, where we had a bog standard machine, 8,000 RPM spindle, if you were to add options onto that machine, if the customer wanted to go to the next level, this is the product. We'd just move product rather than spec up a stock machine. It looks slightly different as well in its fascia, in its aesthetic look. Yes. Is, that, is there a reason behind that? Is it because you want to differentiate from the GX range? Yes, yeah, certainly. So this is a fresh look from, from Hardinge. Um, so basically going back, so uh, this product sits in between the XR. Unfortunately, we've not got an XR here today through popular demand. We've actually sold most of the stock. So this machine fits in below that and it's taken from the XR, the XR smaller brother. Engineers look at machining centres, they like to know the sizes, the speeds, but they also like to know what is behind, call it, or the machine with its clothes off, should we say. Don't yeah. want you getting excited at that point. <laughs> but what makes, what makes the Hardinge machine, what's, what's the build like? So this, this actual machine is taken from the XR. So the XR is our high-end, um, probably best-selling uh, VMC. Um, and this machine is basically a step down from that machine. So the, the construction of the casting, the C-frame casting is the same design as an XR, but basically what we've done is just restricted its, its capabilities then. Precision and accuracy, do you use scales on this machine or is, it, is that an option? Again, it is an option available, but how we, how we try and build as ETG, how we've got a large available stock list, this machine is without scales and again, if the customer requested such high accuracy, we'd move on to a, an, another product. Now, with the V1000, I'm, I'm assuming that that means it's got a meter in the X axis, but what has it got in the Y? So we've got a meter in the X, 610 in the Y, so again, it's quite a complemented Y axis stroke. Control on here is a Heidenhain, is that the 530 or have you gone up from that? No, this is the 620. Um, so again, how, how have uh, Heidenhain have targeted the market with their 620? It's a mid-range control. Obviously, the 530 being, being the high end, this is a mid-range product with a mid-range control. But being a 620, it's not, it's not restricted in any way. So I could add additional axes to the machine? Yes, yeah, certainly. So we've got um, a fourth axis or a fourth and fifth axis. Again, the side panels on the side uh, are fully removable. Um, so ETG being renowned for their turnkey um, proposals, um, we can fit automation to it, robots loading and so forth. So those doors on the sides are for that reason, you can open them so you can add an automation system? Yes, certainly, yes. So there's, there's, this, the system we can either load from the left side or the right side, we can have palleted systems, manual loading systems, um, again, as ETG offers the full solution. That tool changer, it's a side mount tool changer, what's the difference between that and an umbrella type? So the umbrella type is a, um, all, the, all the tools are fixed. Um, this is a random selection, so basically your chip to chip time is a lot, lot quicker. So where the GX range we would put in, and the, the, the customer is probably not too worried about cycle time and the chip to chip time, this machine would probably would be suited into a production environment. Now, you've spoken about the spindle as well. Is this one a BBT42? Yes, so it's a face and taper spindle. Um, what does that give me? So basically it's a 12K spindle. With the face and taper, it's a face and taper contact. So you've not just got the contact of the tool locating in the spindle, but you've also got the rigidity of the back face pulling right against the spindle nose. And I note with some of your other machines there's the option of a two-step gearbox. Do you yes. have that here? Not on, not on this particular machine, because again, if that was an application, we would look at the GX range. So is this a direct drive spindle or is it belt driven? This one's a belt driven spindle. Um, again, we have, within, within the whole portfolio, we have different spindle configurations. Swarf management options? This is standard on this machine, um, but again, if the customer did have a budget and we had to fit in with that budget, we can quite easily take it off. And for you guys here at the Engineering Technology Group, does this, is this going to take market share away from your GX range or is this, is this a different sort of, it's going to go into a different market? It possibly could. I think even all the subcontractors and our customers are now are looking for that next level. Um, they're looking to future-proof themselves. Um, so this product 
um, it will quite uh, take a large impact of that market, yes. And I think it's good for you because it offers you more choice or for your customer as well. Yes, certainly, yes. So it, obviously with the range of controls, the range of options uh, through the collaboration of all the machines, um, there's nothing that we can't offer. OK, let's do it. There's a guy here who wants to place an order. Why this one? Again, Hardinge Bridgeport. It's got Hardinge Bridgeport all over it. Yeah. Take it, you're placing the order. <laughs> Not today. Can't okay. afford it. <laughs> Thanks, Steve. Cheers, Paul. For more videos, products and news, go to mtdcnc.com or follow MTD Online on Twitter.